Hey guys, so welcome back to Webpack tutorial. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about hot model replacement. If you can see this particular website, it is all about webpackjs.org concepts hot model replacement. So it is just about you know uh, the hot model replacement exchange ad removes modules while application is running. So that means whenever in the, in the dev mode, if you're if at all you're working, if you're changing your code your changes are reflected directly into the browser and you don't really need to refresh the page it is all the particular part of the code which requires to be changed is taken care of and only that particular part changes inside the web browser this really helps in yeah so it really helps in developing the code faster and you can definitely go over here and have your extra bit of knowledge uh, so moving ahead even over here uh, even in this particular website if you can see if the webpack dev server supports hot mode and that is what we are going to do in this particular video so if you just come over here there are some steps which are written over here I'm not going to go to each one of them but I'll just try to make it a quick video about how we can on the hot mode in webpack dev server let me go back to Okay, I'll just minimize it. At the same time, I'll just close this particular tab. Okay, so now I'll go to Webpack config and over here, first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hot mode on for dev servers. I'm just going to say hot true. That looks really good. And if you come over here, you can see there are some steps which you have to do to make this thing to work. I'll just go and copy Webpack constant over here. I'll come over here. This is nothing but my webpack config of my application. And then these are two new plugins which we have to, you know, add into the plugin section. And that is it. At the same time, like in the hot mode of the web server, of the web uh, dev server of the webpack, it really doesn't work with extract text plugin. So just for the matter of, you know, unable you guys to see the changes, I need to disable this. So I'll just disable extract text plugin over here. At the same time, if you can, if you come over here, right, even this particular part of, you know, of loading the uh, SAS files has to be changed. So I'll just copy this. I have to remove extract text plugin from here. I'll just copy this particular thing. I'll just put it over here. Just expand this. I'll just put it over here. At the same time, I'll just copy my style loader as well. And over here, things will be fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Okay. This looks fine for me. At the same time, yes. So over here, if I just go ahead and say npm run dev, my app should work, should be working in my browser over here. Yes, so things are working good. So just have a look at, so now if I go ahead and change it to blue, and once I save it, boom, it is there. The reason, and if you can see the application, my tab is not even loading. If I just go here and just say, white maybe just see over here the application is not loading at all so once i save it it is there directly so this is all about hot mode replacement if at all you guys are not you know not working with hot mode even in that case the things would work but it would be a hard refresh on 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 the browser if at all it really doesn't nag you you don't need to do this but it really comes handy when we you have to you know start development and development is time is to be reduced very drastically as the web you know as the web pack or, or the web application it goes on increasing the build time really goes on increasing and it is not really you know it is it is nagging at times waiting for the build to get over and all your changes to reflect on the browser so that is something which we can really remove out completely by using hot module replacement and thanks a lot guys uh, 
so that is one thing and one more thing which i would really like to make clear over here is uh, in the next video we'll try to see how in how everything works fine the extract text plugin should work in production mode at least so that is something which we are going to see in the next video of handling the dev and production mode so keep tuned guys thanks a lot if at all it was somewhat helpful for you guys please subscribe and share comment like thanks a lot